Hong Kong was a small fishing village before 1841. Then the British came and it became the Pearl of Asia on the British crown. 25 years ago, Hong Kong became part of China. Nothing much has changed during the last 25 years. China has honored the agreement it made before the unification and allowed Hong Kong to continue their colonial democracy. Under these special terms, Hong Kong is allowed to have its own set of justice system. It is a system that allows extradition to almost all countries in the world except China and Taiwan. The law became a big problem when a Hong Kong couple visited Taiwan in 2018. The boyfriend decided to get rid of his pregnant girlfriend by killing her and in the bay in Taiwan. Knowing that he would be safe in Hong Kong, he went back before his crime was known. Sadly, because no evidence of the killing is even allowed to be reviewed in Hong Kong, the man was sentenced to a few months in jail for using his girl's credit card after killing her. Hong Kong's Congress decided to write a new law, a law that would allow extradition with China and Taiwan. But many Hong Kong citizens considered this a change they would not tolerate. So about two million took their anger to the street, which forced the Hong Kong ministry to abolish the new law. However, some angry protesters decided to forcefully enter the Hong Kong Congress building. The Hong Kong government considered this a step into the forbidden zone and a massive manhunt is underway for the perpetrators. Watching the events unfolding seemed like watching a doomsday movie. As I recall what I saw recently when I tried to decode a Chinese prophecy, the Qinlin Tower prophecy was found written on a carved stone after a temple tower was demolished around 1918. This stone started by revealing the person who wrote the prophecy, Liu Bowen, the famous prophecy 650 years ago, and the person that found the stone, Chiang Kai-shek. Most people have never heard about this prophecy, while many other people consider it fake. But no one can deny that the prophecy circulating throughout the past 100 years revealed names of Mao Zedong and his wife, Chiang Kai-shek and his wife, several second-in-commands, Deng Xiaoping, Hu, Jintao, and President Xi Jinping. Since this prophecy has correctly predicted all major events during the last 100 years, I don't think they would miss the current Hong Kong conflict. And the prediction started in the middle of the prophecy. After the section dedicated to political turmoil, the literal translation is glorious land turn to a new color, horse won't nod, stone sink to bottom, red flower blooming no more, it's white flowers time. Beauty come to purple gold mountain. One disaster will take place of another. Great harm will happen before healing. Glorious in Chinese is in the name of the last leader, Hu Jintao, while President Xi's last name, Xi, is made of white feather, and he is the only person with a color in his name among all Chinese leaders. So the first line clearly showed the timing of the Hong Kong crisis. The second line is a warning. I found horse nodding as a way for horse to check the surrounding area. So not nodding means a failure to comprehend the situation. Stone sink to bottom is a Chinese way to say what goes up comes down. And it is a warning in sequences for failing to comprehend the dire consequences. The next one called about the end of red flower and the start of the white. Please note the first line talked about the era of new color, the color of white. And since Hong Kong's state flower is Bahinia variegate, 
It is red, and the end of this flower would mean the end of the Hong Kong style of freedom. And the next line mention Mountain of Bahinia Variegate with beautiful visitors. American is called beauty in Chinese. And China has accused America and the UK as the invisible hands behind the Hong Kong protest. Then the two lines called out new disaster in place of the old and new damages added to old harm. So it means the conflict will continue with worse impact over time. But the most concerning prophecy is the two quotes ending the tower prophecy. Carp in shallow water in miserably. Hundred years of prosperity vanish like a dream. You may not know that Repulse Bay is called the Hawaii of the East, it is Hong Kong's most famous beach. While the Carp Gate is the Leu Moon in the channel between Hong Kong and Kowloon, this indicates clearly the trouble that Hong Kong may soon face and the result is quoted in the following line. Hundreds years of prosperity to vanish. Please note that knowing the future means we may do something about it. I heard the richest person in Hong Kong, Li, sold all his assets and moved to Europe a few years ago. Does he know something we do not know? Well, not everyone can afford to move to Europe. But maybe it is not too late for you to stop the stone from falling to the bottom of the ocean. This is Ken Peters. Thank you for watching.